we're the leader and she's got to trust us and that's what we've been working on all these ground exercises that we've been doing gets her more calm and trusting and she will follow us wherever we ask her to go as long as we don't violate that leadership by causing her pain or discomfort so we're going to move and make some noise today with a variety of uh, different objects and see how far we can get desensitize her get her to understand that no matter what's going on, as long as the boss here says it's okay, you're okay. We're gonna come over here where the toys are. And um, if you notice, there's some hesitation in it already. These are things that are new to Fancy. We're gonna start just by letting her investigate a little bit. Here, snorting. You can see your position. First thing a horse does is reacts out of fear. Their whole idea of survival has been based on the fact that I run away, now I think about it later. The first object I'm going to have is the uh, dreaded horse eating plastic bag. For some reason, and I have no idea, we have never done this with, with Fancy. Um, a lot of horses think that these plastic bags are really scary. And I would say that Fancy would fall into that classification too. So what we want to do is we want to teach this horse that there's nothing to be afraid of, especially if the leader's here. A uh, horse is going, we're going to do an approach and retreat, and I'm going to take away, I'm going to put minimum pressure on her first. All right, here comes the sun. So what I'm going to start with, so I'm going to give her some, some lead, and I'm going to start this bag. She's got this attention. I'm going to keep the bag between, myself between the bag and the horse. And I'm actually going to walk away. And I'm going to lead the horse. Now, why am I walking away? Well, she's the brave coward. As long as it moves away from her, it's less intimidating. And so we're just going to keep it here until I can feel her relaxing. Now, you can see on the rope that she's starting to relax. It's making noise and it's moving, but now she's following me. And you just do it until the horse decides that there's really no danger. My body language is pretty passive. And you just do it till she gets comfortable. I mean, how deadly or scary can a plastic bag be on the end of a pink stick? Come on, Fancy. Okay. So once I feel that she's eh, a little desensitized to that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch positions with this plastic bag, and I'm going to put it next to the Fancy, but I'm still going to be walking away from the horse. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to now it's a little closer. And you can see the, the hesitation. And I'm just going to walk until she gets used to it. And she's a sensitive horse. She's definitely a sensitive horse. Now this is a good, good exercise for her. But as you can see, it's getting a little bit better, a little bit better. Now the first thing a horse does is it fears something. And once it figures out it, it's not going to hurt it, it gets curious. So the second step in the horse's mind is that curiosity factor. Oh, look at that. Oh, what is that? Oh, never mind. You don't want that anyhow. What is that? Oh, look at that. Now the curiosity factor is taking place, isn't it? Ah, it's not so bad, is it? So let's just walk a little bit more. And this time we'll just drag it on the ground and see if she's going to follow it. There's some, you can see the, it's loose. She's actually curious as to what this is. Her head's dropping down. She's not exactly jumping on it, but, which is a third step. First it's fear. Then it's curiosity, then it's domination. So it doesn't look like she's too fearful. So let's bring it up. Let's actually touch her with it now. 
Now she's used to being rubbed on the head. There we go. Now what would have happened, do you think, if we would have started with this? I don't think you would have gotten near her. Word of caution, when you're doing this, you start on the wither, well, start on the withers, but stay on one side if the wind is blowing. What you don't want it to do is to blow on the other side of the horse and spook her towards you. So you always keep it on the side, just out of safety. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to move it a little bit. That's right. And she moves. That's right. Just move with her. That's all right. Yeah, I'd say she's a little, she's a little frightened. She's a little frightened there. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty reactive. Strong survival instincts. Strong survival instincts. But she's standing still. I, she's noticeably, oh, remember what I said? I just keep it on the other side there. We don't want her jumping into me. I scooted over there a little bit too soon. All right, so now I'm gonna come out here a little bit. Let her relax. I'm not touching her yet. Just desensitizing the air around her. That's right, she moves again, same, same. It's all right, she can move, that's all right. Let her move. <laughs> I don't know how many toys we're gonna get through in this session. As soon as she stops, I'll stop. Huh. That's all right, now she's thinking. Slowly, we're getting there. I don't even know if it's slowly. Actually, these horses are so doggone smart. This is really not a bad. I mean, they just, we're working against mother nature. You're talking millions of years. Millions. Well, I know you're not that old. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you how women are with their age. But, yeah, well, yeah. Well, okay. How do you do that if a horse doesn't trust you? It's just a big old balloon. It's like me, full of hot air. I might make a lot of noise and blow myself up at it. <laughs>